Hello my loves and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here my name is Massa and it is my favourite time of the year. I think it's safe to say it is my favourite time of the year and it is time for the Magical Readathon. So if you haven't heard of the Magical Readathon before it is a readathon. It happens at the spring equinox and I believe the summer equinox or autumn. Basically I think it happens in April and then August September time and I'm still very new to it. It was set up by G over at Book Roast. I will have her channel linked down below as well as the announcement video for the one starting in April. So it is basically like a role play kind of readathon where you pick your character and you're at a magical school and you pick what you want their calling or career path thing to be and you have certain things that you need to study at this magical school in order to get there. Now I do things a little bit differently. I'm very new to this. I sort of dipped my toes in a little bit in August of last year where I kind of tried it out and I basically ended up reading one of my favourite book series of the year. I ended up reading the Prison Healer series for the first time because of this readathon and I fell in love with it and I loved it so much. So I'm back, we're gonna do it again and let's just get into it. You can go in more detail with things if you want but I like to keep it simple. I don't really have a character per se but I have joined a guild this time round and we'll get to that in a little bit. So so for this year and what I started last year I'm going to continue the same thing and that is the calling of Star Whisperer and I just think it's very me. If there was going to be any calling that was going to be me or my character it's going to be Star Whisperer. So the first course that I need to study to be a Star Whisperer is Art of Illusion and the prompt for that is the book needs to have the word game or play in the title. So I didn't really know, I didn't have anything that jumped into my head straight away for this one and then I looked it up and of course it makes sense. It is going to give me the chance to start reading one of my favourite series of all time and I already know it's going to be a favourite because the movies are my comfort films, they give me so much joy which is a bit weird given the context of the story but for this prompt I'm gonna start reading The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins and I am so excited. Like I'm just beyond excited to finally read the books because I love the films so much and we're finally gonna read the books. It's wild. I'm so excited. So this is the first book. The next subject that I need to study is astronomy and the prompt for this is that it needs to be your zodiac recommendation. So by that it basically means that all the videos you see like if you're a Libra you should read this or that kind of vibe then that's where you're getting your recommendation from. So I did what any person would do went on TikTok, looked up a bunch of them and there was one book that appeared on I think two or three separate ones that I watched so I was like I guess it's gonna have to be this one which oddly enough would have also worked for the first one but the second book is The Inheritance Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Now from what I've heard and I don't know too much about this and I don't want to read too much about this either but I believe this is like a Knives Out kind of vibe which is why I don't want to read anything about it. It's been recommended for Libras and it's got Knives Out vibes. What more could I possibly want? I love Knives Out so much and the lady because I had literally had to go out and buy this from Waterstones today and the lovely lady that was saving me she said it's one of her favourite books, it's one of her favourite series and she basically was singing its praises the entire time I was there so what could possibly go wrong? Now the next three courses that I need to study to get this career path they're a little bit I don't really know if I can come up with the books that we need in this video so the next one that I have is inscription and that prompt is really easy. Write down three different books, fold them up and then just pick one out at random. So for that I sort of have three options but I definitely am putting a disclaimer like I reserve the right to change my mind about any of these three at a later time when it actually comes to me reading them. So one of the three is, and you will have seen this all over, 
It is the Atlas 6 by Olivia Blake and this I think is sort of dark academia and there is six people that are chosen and I believe they've got magical abilities and at the end of it one of them comes out and there's things going that's a terrible um that's a terrible synopsis but I don't want to know too much about it because it's so popular and I know that like there's a second and like a possibly third book out so I just don't want to have too too much knowledge about this but it's magical there's like evil things happening and I think one of them dies or one of them's supposed to die because one of them's not meant to come out of the other side I don't know this is one of our options the next option that I have is the assistant to the villain by and I'm about to butcher this name so I'm very sorry by Hannah Nicole Mahra I don't know I'm very sorry she does the best TikToks on TikTok obviously about the sunshine assistant and the grumpy villain and she came out with a book and I'm so excited I want to finally get to this so I kind of hope that this is the one that's going to be coming out of the three also it is a pretty short I guess I would say paperback and I really want to read this so I kind of hope that this is the one that comes out over the Atlas 6. But we also have a third option so our third option of what it could be is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. Now I believe from my limited knowledge that this is sort of like a Mutt and Alexis inspired story from Schitt's Creek and immediately I love it. So I kind of wanted one that was like a bit summery and was a romance so it was just a bit more chilled out because there's a couple of other books that I need to read this month which I'll get to in a second at the end that are going to be really really heavy so I just wanted something simple. Yeah it literally on the back says it's a Schitt's Creek inspired rom-com. Brilliant, amazing and it's about a fashionable influential like wild child kind of girl who's being chased by paparazzi all the time etc so she is sent to run her father's dive bar in like this tiny little port city and the mutt inspired character who literally that looks exactly like Mutt, is our bearded sea captain, which like, say less, say less. So this is also one of the options of the three. Now I might change those three books as like our options as I go through the month because it's going to be a really busy month to begin with and also again there's going to be some very heavy books that I need to read and I might just make all three options graphic novels just to help myself out a little bit but I will let you know I'm gonna vlog the whole thing so it's going to be great. Now the next subject that I need to study is law and that is technically a side quest so technically to complete this all I need to do is read the legends of Dia which is on the google drive folder which all of the information for the readathon is on which again is linked in G's video so I will link everything down below but technically for that all I need to do is read that one page however this law lesson has been disrupted and is also the beginning of a side quest so I don't know what that's going to be yet we won't find out what it's going to be until the 1st of April and obviously I'm filming this and this is going live before then so yeah I don't know what it's going to be nervous excited I might just make it easy for myself and read that one page so I can tick this course off of the list but if I'm feeling like I've got it in me then I might do the actual side quest and see if I can make any of the books that I have fit it but I also don't know what the side quest is so I literally will have no idea up until the 1st of April. And the last course that I need to study to become a Star Whisperer is psionics and divinations and that you need to do a prediction bingo for. So pretty simple you predict what's going to happen in the book whether it's going to be tropes whether it's like specific events characters like characters gonna be clumsy or whatever you just put your predictions down on like a little bingo card type thing 
and there you go. Now for this one, I don't know what book I'm going to do yet because, and remember when I said I've got some pretty heavy books to get through this month? This is where that comes in. I am almost finished with Queen of Shadows from the Throne of Glass series. So I'm hoping in the next month, as in April, to finish reading Empire of Storm, or Sarah J Mouse by the way, Tower of Dawn, and the chunky, chunky book that is Kingdom of Ash. Now I don't know if it's going to be a good idea or a bad idea to try and do a prediction bingo for Kingdom of Ash. That seems like it might be really fun but also just straight up chaos. Don't know if I'm gonna do that or not or if I might do it for a different book. And also there is a guild book club and I have joined one of the guilds. There's four guilds you can join and it's basically like houses, I guess, on the campus. And I am in the guild of the mind walkers and we have a book club book that you can opt into reading, which I'm gonna hope I can get to. And that book is A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen. Now this beautiful edition was one of my adult book only fairy loot books and it is I believe oh, it's so beautiful it's honestly I, I'm a bit obsessed with it and it is a Viking inspired story. I just read the first paragraph of the synopsis and I'm already like hooked but a woman blessed by the gods battles to unite a nation under a power hungry king while also fighting her growing desire for his fiery son in this Norse inspired fantasy romance from the best selling author of the Bridge Kingdom series. Now, I haven't read the Bridge Kingdom, but I have heard fabulous things about it. So, this is the book club book, so I don't know if I maybe should do the prediction bingo for this because I obviously know nothing about this and going into the last book of Throne of Glass I'm obviously going to have a lot of information and I've seen some fan art which I think happens in this book which I think I have spoilers basically so it would be kind of cheating to do the prediction bingo for that. This is also why I'm saying there's some pretty heavy books that I need to get through and Pretty much from everything I've seen online, I'm going to be sobbing throughout the entirety of this, what, thousand pages? So yeah, there's a lot of factors to consider. So I'm hoping I can get through all of these books because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine books. Have I ever read nine books in a month in my life? No it takes me like three to four months to read nine books basically and they are chunky books and like I said April's gonna be really busy so I don't know what this is gonna look like but I am excited to try it out and see how it goes. Let me know if you're doing the readathon and which guild are you in? Are you in my guild? Can we be like guild besties? Because I basically have no idea what I'm doing. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you're doing the readathon and what are you reading? What career path are you going down? If you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos. I will be vlogging the entire readathon and everything that I'm doing. Yeah, I believe that's everything. Thanks again for watching this video and I will see you very soon for another one. Bye.